Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to this session where we are going to solve each and every question of NEET 2020 physics segment. The question started from 136 in this code G5. So let's take the very first question that is question number 136. Now this question belongs to chapter alternating current. Here as per the question, a series of LCR circuit is connected to an AC voltage source. When L is removed from the circuit, that means it becomes the CR circuit, right? Then the phase difference between the current and voltage is pi by 3. That means current is leading the voltage by pi by 3. If instead of C is removed, then it becomes an LR circuit. And in that case, the phase difference is again pi by 3. That means in that case, voltage is leading the current by pi by 3. The power factor of the circuit is. Now, we have to understand in both the cases, whether it is LR or CR circuit, the phase difference remains the same. Only the leading and lagging changes. That This can happen only when there is a condition of resonance at the time of LCR. That means both XL and XC are equal in magnitude. In that case, when you understand, you will find, let's see the solution, tan phi can be written as XL minus XC upon R, which would be 0, right? Because XL and XC should be same, then only the phase difference can remain same. So, phi is equals to 0 degree. And in order to find the power factor, what is power factor? Power factor is basically cos phi and cos 0 would be equal to 1. So, what is the answer to this question? Yes, option number 2 is the correct answer to this question. I hope you have understood this very easily. Now, let's take on our next question. Now, let's say question number 137. This question belongs to chapter mechanical properties of solid and it's an easy question. The question states a wire of length L area of cross section A is hanging from the fixed support. The length of the wire changes to L1. That is a change of length where mass M is suspended from the free end. The expression for the Young's modulus is. So, let's start with the solution. As per the formula, Young's modulus is given by stress by strain, right? Now here, stress would be force upon area of cross section divided by change of length divided by original length, right? Now from here, when you just put the values, Y would be the force is due to the mass that is mg divided by the area of cross section of the wire which is hanging. Delta L will be L1 minus L. L1 is the new length, L is the original length divided by L. Solving this, you will get MgL divided by A L1 minus L. So as per this, the answer should be MgL by A bracket L1 minus L and the best suited option for this question is option number 3. So the answer to this question is 3. I hope you have understood this one. Now let's move on to our next question. Now, this question number 138 belongs to chapter moving charges and magnetism. And this is again an easy formula based question. Let's see. A long solenoid of 50 centimeter length having 100 turns carries current 2.5 ampere. The magnetic field at the center of the solenoid is. And it's a very simple formula based question. Yeah, formula aapko kya milega? Magnetic field B can be written as mu naught n into I, where mu naught is the permeability of free space, n is the number of turns per unit length, and I is the current flowing through it. So mu naught ki value hume pata hai, wo constant hoti hai. Jab hum small n ki baat karte hai, to wo hoga total number of turns divided by length. Total number of turns is given as 100, and length of the coil is 50 centimeter. To usse hume 0.5 mention karna padega. That is equals to 200 turns per meter. Kai bar bachche ye galti karte hain. Jab aap yahan se values put karenge, to yahan aega 4 pi into 10 to power minus 7 into n ki value aegi 200 or current diya hai hume 2.5 ampere. Jab aap values yahan put karen, to yahan pe answer aega 6.28 into 10 to power minus 4 tesla, kyunki magnetic field hai. Aye dekhte hain which is the best suited option. Among the four options given here, yes, option number four is the correct answer. So, correct answer to this question is option number four. I hope you have understood this question. Now, let's move on to our next question. 